live it out now. Mm-hmm. His daughters too. Yep. His kids. Are you trying to make it worse? So you guys were telling me about you guys were telling me about Sarah Boone and I didn't really do any deep dive research or anything like that. I know Sarah Boone is the one who allegedly uh, left her boyfriend in the suitcase and he was crying to get out because there's a video that surfaced. He was crying to get out saying he couldn't breathe and she was laughing at him. And then she said that she fell asleep and woke up the next day and, and her boyfriend was dead. Um, and I guess she called the cops afterwards, but, um, I want to watch the body cam footage of the police confronting her, I guess. And then, um, maybe watch the interrogation for the interrogation. Um, there is a two hour long one, or we can watch the condensed version by JCS. Sarah literally thinks she's going home. (laughs) This thumbnail. (laughs) Oh God, that does not surprise me whatsoever. Okay, let's watch the JCS version. Oh, we get to listen to 911 call. 911 call. Okay, let's do this. My boyfriend is dead. Uh, my boyfriend and I were playing last night, and I put him in a suitcase and we were playing. I put him in a suitcase and we were playing, okay? Like kind of hide and seek kind of thing, so. But why would you, hide and seek in a suitcase is kind of weird, because isn't that, hide and seek means that like you don't know where they're hiding, right? If you put them in a suitcase, you know where they're hiding. The sick is already there. I fell asleep and I woke up and he was dead in the suitcase. So I don't know what happened. Okay, is he hanging from somewhere or what, ma'am? No, I pulled him out of the suitcase. He was in a suitcase? Yes, and I fell asleep. Yeah, we're hating his attitude already. No. I need you to get him on the floor, found his back for I me, did. okay? I did, I did. I tried giving him CPR. Yeah, okay. Terrible. Okay, listen to me. Lay him flat on his. Okay, ma- 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 ma'am, listen to me. I want you to lay him oh flat my on God. his back for me on I the did. floor. I did. Okay, wait. He's dead and purple. Okay, ma'am, that's fine. We're still going. And she was asking the officer, so, like, why does he turn purple? Why does that happen? What do you think, Miss Boone? Two compressions on him, okay? Place the heel of your hand on his breastbone, right in the center of the. She doesn't want to do this because she knows he's dead, dead. She's like, I don't even want to try to give him CPR. I know he's dead. Yes. Yes. Put your other hand on top of that hand. If I look at him, you can tell. Yeah, she, she doesn't even want to try because she's like, he's dead. What, what's the point of me doing this? I don't want, what if I, I don't, I don't want to do this. Ah! Please. Okay, he just gurgled. Okay, listen to That's me. That's a lie. Place the heel of your hand, rub it in his chest, rub it in his breastbone. This is 42-year-old Sarah Boone. 42. You just heard on the 911 call a few seconds ago. Oh my God, she's 42 years old and she acts as childish. How? How? What, ha- what happened in your life, ma'am? Her boyfriend was 42-year-old George Torres Jr., who she locked inside a suitcase the night before, ultimately leading to him dying of suffocation. Sarah's explanation is that it was a totally unintentional and unforeseen accident, but what she's completely unaware of at this particular moment mm. is the fact she recorded two videos on her phone last night. <laughs> oh my god, two videos. The second video was recorded 11 minutes later showing the same thing, except the suitcase was flipped over and in a different area <gasps> of the apartment. Oh, how is she so stupid? Sarah is both unmistakably and heavily intoxicated in these videos, which may explain the fact she didn't delete them. It would be safe to assume that she has no idea the videos exist. And yes, you will see the moment she becomes aware of their existence. Oh, my God. I guess it's going to be an interrogation. She surrenders her phone and didn't even try to delete it. Okay, wait one second, okay? I really need something to drink. Okay, well, I got my Dr. Pepper on the counter. Okay, okay we'll take care of you. Give me one second. Um, Unbelievable. I just got here, so fill me in. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm starting to think she's not a good person. Hold on. Like, yeah, he and I were putting a puzzle together. We've been doing some artwork right together. Well, you are putting a puzzle together? Yes, we have a puzzle that we started in there. Okay. Like, having a good time with one another. Oh god, this puzzle's gonna come into evidence. Dude, I'm thinking of like this like puzzle that my siblings and I used to build. It was like this giant ass puzzle of like the Rugrats character and it was like seven pieces. Each puzzle was like ginormous. We had a bottle of wine. <laughs> I wonder what puzzle's in there. So then it's like we decided to play hide and seek, right? Okay. So okay. he gets in the suitcase. Okay. Who is this guy? That's my ex-husband. My former husband. How did he, he live here with you guys? No. I called him over here. Okay, okay. I didn't know what to do. Here, let's talk in private, okay? I called you guys. All we had was a bottle of wine. 
literally just a bottle of wine. False, okay. Two and puzzle artwork. Then we decided to play hide and seek. That's all that happened. Yeah, I don't know why she would go with that narrative that all she had was a bottle of wine. She should have said that she was completely out of it out of it she should have been like i was so drunk i can't believe this happened i don't i don't know how this happened and then you know what it works there you go okay. oh my god <laughs> yeah, let me fill this deputy in okay please may i have my dr pepper i am oh, so no, cut mouth right now it's on the counter. I can't move anything from out of the house. Like, I'm I'm here, I want you to sit down because I don't want you passing out. This is probably a lot for you to deal with, right? <laughs> okay, guys, I'm going to leave you this with uh, Sarah Boone's face. I'm going to use the restroom really quick. <laughs> Have fun. You're going to get sleep paralysis tonight. Okay, sorry, guys. No sleep paralysis. I'm just kidding. I can get you some water, okay? The officer then talks to Sarah's ex-husband. Uh, yeah, about 1130 is when I start calling to Go find ahead. out because supposed to be her day. He referred to the fact that Sarah was meant to have custody of their son today. Mm. Generally not very good about always doing it. She's How old was her son during this time? Does anyone know? Um, so I was calling to find out if she was going to be getting him or not today. From school. Yes. Okay. Got over here, told her she needed to call 911. I know, right? It's okay. Most of us have forgotten drunk photos, but they don't usually include our significant others in suitcases. Over here and then uh, basically, she said she needed to go outside, have a drink and a cigarette. But um, I called her. Give me one second, okay? Time. He's currently on parole because of it. So um, because of domestic violence with her. Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, he's on parole right now. Okay. He's been arrested for domestic violence multiple times against Sarah, and that Sarah's literally bailed him out every time. Yeah. See, I think Sarah got the ex-boyfriend to come to the scene so he can like vouch for her and be like, "Okay, I need you to talk to the cops about how abusive George is." And you got to make me look good. I don't know what it is. But like, I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I think he's just, you know, giving this her side of the story. Oh, she's getting water from this tap. She's probably going to pass out on us. At some point, you put him in the suitcase? No, he got in the suitcase. So okay. he thought it'd be funny to be... But on the 911 call, she said, she said that she put him in the suitcase. Okay, so I was like, okay, well, I'm going to joke with you and I'll zip you up and make him, you know, squirm a little bit, whatever it is. But then I felt... And make him squirm a little bit, whatever it is. Oh, she dropped it in there. I fell asleep. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep. Well, I started telling the truth right there. The right where it is. In it, right down there. Yes. You zipped him in there. Yes. Thought he would be funny a little bit. It drunk. was. We both were laughing about it. Okay. And then I fell asleep. Where did you fall asleep at? Upstairs. I just totally so forgot. you began to do CPR on him. Yes. From yes. About Any what gurgle. time this morning Any did gurgle. you start doing that CPR? No, it was the afternoon. And it, like, I want to know what their um, the autopsy says about the time of death because she said he gurgled. I don't know why she would add that detail in. I don't believe that he did. Air was coming out and he was gurgling, but mm -hmm. I could just tell by looking at him. Oh, she's like shaking right now. Are you doing that on your own? Yes. Okay. I want you to sit back down because I don't want. Can you... I have one more sip of water, please? Yeah, go go. On. <laughs> Can I have a cigarette, please, ma'am? <laughs> it's on the back porch. Nope. <laughs> All of it. It's secure. Okay. <laughs> Not right now. We can't have you go and get anything. Why don't you sit in the shade? The investigators then arrive. Hey, Sarah. Did you get enough water? Yes. Do I have to stand up, though? No, if you want to stay... Do I have to stand up, though? Oh, my gosh. She's such a fucking child. She must have acted like this to get her way with people in the past and to get out of things. Just 42-year-old fucking woman child. Hey, don't, I don't want you getting lightheaded. So remember I said the detectives were going to come out and talk to you and go from there? Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. After you zipped them up, did you move the bag around and mess with them <laughs> in the hall? Or? Oh! He said, after you zipped him up, did you move the bag around or anything at all? She said, no. But it seems that she forgot that she filmed 12 hours ago of her moving the suitcase. Well, she filmed him in one location, and in the second video, he was already in a different location. So you just zip it up and walk away. And I both were laughing about it, but I went upstairs and I fell asleep. Don't matter. I'm afraid for my life. She's afraid for her life. Oh, my God. Me, 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 me. I am afraid for my life. His family has never liked me. What does this have to do? What? Why are you trying to bring his family into this? Have you called any of them? Um, we talked to his daughters yesterday. No, I mean, like, about this. Does no. Anyone know? Okay. So They're going to kill me. Okay, well, Do they live local? Yes. 
further down the road. They're going to kill me. Sarah stayed with her ex-husband, then showed up. Oh, God, poor ex-husband, poor kid. At the sheriff's office the next day at 3.51 p.m. with an entire handwritten page of questions, the first of which was about when she's getting back her phone. <laughs> God, how many lunch breaks do I get? I'm going to have you sit in the green chair it doesn't move. Appreciate you coming in. So obviously, um, he received his autopsy. So I'm going to read you your rights again because I, we have... Oh, they did the autopsy. So now they're going to get, hopefully, a you know time that they think that he died. So it would probably offset her story, which she's like, oh, he was gurgling. Mm. To talk about that. Miranda so warning. I promise you anything to get you to talk to me. No. And do you understand what I just read you? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Sarah has no idea what just happened. This morning we went to his autopsy. Uh, yeah, wouldn't she be like, wait, why are you reading me my Miranda rights? Am I getting arrested? Oh, man, Sarah. <laughs> I should have got a public defender. Um, and we were informed of some injuries that he has um, by the doctor. Oh, no. Is he going to have, like, bruises everywhere? Interrogation channel is excellent. They have some fascinating stuff. I like this disembodied narrator, like Arrested Development. So he had some injuries to his left shoulder. Oh, no. Um, he had... Um, look, at her, look at her. I don't know if you guys can see her face right now, but she's scowling. He had a cut near his, like, lip. We could see, we could see his... Um, Shaking her head. Uh, I haven't laid a hand on him. Okay. Forensics have since proven that George sustained his injuries the night he died, and he didn't mm. have them before entering the apartment. I, <coughs> also, too, I, he fell off my son's bike. Okay. So I don't know. He fell off my son's bike. Look at her trying to protect herself. Good God. Dude, you lock a guy in a suitcase, and then you pretty much start beating him. Probably kick the suitcase, like... And he's notorious for running into the wall. He's so notorious. The Blame the victim, okay? So okay. why? Okay. He's notorious for running to the wall of the hall or the tree. Okay. okay. The investigator details further injuries, including a contusion on his neck. And they're all recent. Like, they, they, they occurred recently. It wasn't something that occurred post or that occurred a week ago or two days ago, three days ago. They definitely occurred, you know, the night leading up to when he was... In all injured. honesty, all honesty, we have not gotten into it. I have no idea what it is. Literally paint, do puzzles, and play, mm -hmm. and listen to music. That's why. I what does play mean? <laughs> paint puzzles and play. No. Nope. What do you think her um her motive was? Did something go down between them recently? I know that um it was mentioned that he was arrested a couple times or something for like DV, but like, did he cheat on her? Did she cheat on him? Like, did something happen? Was there a catalyst? Nobody got out of sorts. That's this is what's mind blowing to me. Like I don't, okay. I have no clue. Nobody laid a hand on anybody. Uh huh. He sure. He had, um, like on the left side of his forehead, he had basically bruising, um, and on, um, on like his head and his skull. I have no idea. As if something hit him. I consider have not for touched trauma. him. I have not touched him. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Defensive mode. I have not mode. touched him. I have no idea. We had a good day. Mm -hmm. It was a good day. We've had good days lately. It's How did been good. Like, I don't even know where this is coming from. <clears throat> the interrog How does she expect people to believe her when his body was found in a suitcase? <laughs> Gator now brings up Sarah's last call to police, reporting domestic violence. He said a month ago he hit you with a curtain rod. Yeah, with a curtain rod. Oh, a month ago? You guys didn't take that either. <laughs> she just referred to the fact that George didn't face charges for the alleged assault. I don't think you all understand. He comes at me all the time. He comes at me. So it's either I flee or try to go upstairs and go to sleep. That's usually what it is. And I don't know if you talk to Brian about any of that, but most of the time when I... Oh, again... Bringing up Brian. I think Brian again. I think Brian's the name of the ex-husband. So Brian's the husband, the ex-husband that's going to vouch for her. Please, I go or she thinks he is. Her motive may have been a mix of things. He had actually done wrong and overall long-term mental issues. I think she's clearly long-term a psycho. We've been doing great at doing puzzles. Yeah, I can't imagine what it was like for her ex-husband. Poor dude. She accused him of cheating, abusing her. But I bet that was an excuse for her ongoing abuse and bad behavior. Over there. 
Sarah is detailing possible motives for retaliation. Routine procedure would be to keep her train of thought locked on this element, provide mm. encouragement and understanding while inquiring further into the suspect's grievances with the victim. The only problem is that the lead interrogator really, 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 really doesn't like Sarah. <laughs> Yeah, because I wasn't sure what their approach was going to be. You know, usually in their approach, they're like, you have a good cop, bad cop. So I'm assuming maybe red shirt is good cop and then uh, the lady's going to play bad cop. But usually they like kind of like pretend like they're like friends, buddy, but they ease you in, you know, and then bam, they show you contradicting evidence and see how you react to it. But they just went ham right into it. Like, yeah, he's got bruising. Can you explain that? What's up with that? And abandons the task of pretending to, which <laughs> makes this a significantly flawed yet remarkably entertaining <laughs> process to bear witness. <laughs> I feel like I can help him. He came a really long way. And he was trying. He was really trying. She somehow transitions into the principle of how she doesn't normally drink. And it's kind of okay. only because of George that she drinks it all. Okay. The wine, whatever, or if it's a weekend, that's when you, you have a good time. You don't have to wake up the next day. I have to wake up the next day and do things. I can do 50 things at once and still know the 50 things more all I hear is her talking up how good she is and how bad he is. Previously, prior that I need to get done, he can't process like that. He didn't process like that. So the next thing you know, he doesn't want to deal with it. I'm going to go get something to drink. Like she hasn't had a kind thing to say about him at all. Nobody knew George better than I did. I say that I knew George better than himself. Did you? And I tried in every way, shape and form. Ask everyone. I helped him. She said, ask everyone. I want to know what the people are going to say, because obviously we're going to get friends. We're going to get family members who are going to testify in the stand. I wonder what they're going to say. She says, ask anyone. Ask everyone. They're, I don't know. They might contradict her. <laughs> I took care of him. Sarah talks about George's anger management classes. Yeah. So she's basically saying that like George, he's a broken man. When I came to his life. I sat through with him through all the anger stuff. I helped him out. I'm the one who changed him. He's the man who he is now because of me. You know, I mean, now he's dead, but she's making it seem like she's like a saint for have, having dated him and deal with and put up with him. And the supposed progress he was making. And we're always come home and show me his paper. Yep. <laughs> Look at the body language with the detective on the left side. She's like, <laughs> she ain't bite any of this. Enough. In the next moment, the she detective even tried. Say, then they have to do something to defend themselves. Sarah's temperament will completely switch at the completion of this sentence. Oh. They have to, to do something to defend themselves. I would just flee. And I don't know if you okay. would like to see on my phone or I think, it's, I think it's actually on a laptop. She explains how she once filed a restraining order against George, then for some reason brings up his ex-wife. When I say a monster, she's a monster. Um, okay, so everyone's a monster except for her. George is a monster. Ex-wife is a monster. Ask everyone. Ask anyone. They'll vouch. Um, she okay. recalls the game starting at around 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Oh, my God. How long was it in the suitcase for? Her going to sleep at around midnight. So I have four and I have midnight. So there's a big gap. So I'm just curious, like, okay, you want to play hide and seek? What he does is, okay, tag, you're it. So it's like, okay. Wait, I'm so, I'm so confused. Do, do people actually do this? Do people actually, like, when they hang out with their significant other, do they say, oh, let's go play? Let's play hide and go sick and stag. I, 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 if you do, that's fine. I'm just very curious. Is, is, I'm just so confused. I'm very confused. Okay, we know. Okay, take off. That's not how you play hide and seek. Mm -hmm. That's what we did. Okay. Um, have you guys ever played the, you said you played hide and seek like probably three times in your relationship. Mm -hmm. When you have played, have you ever zipped him up in a suitcase prior? No. Okay. Oh, no, of course not. That would be bizarre. The suitcase originally is in our closet, buried all the way to the back. So then how did the suitcase come out then? Oh, no. Do you think she had this whole thing planned? Like, she's like, okay, I'm going to try to get him in a suitcase. I can get him really drunk. I'm going to convince him. He's going to get in, and that's when it's going to start. If you, I, don't, I know the CSI people saw our closet. Our closet needs to be cleaned out really bad. My son's okay. clothes need to be cleaned out really bad because they don't fit him anymore, and I'm tired of looking at him. Have, have you ever zipped him up in anything, jokingly or not? But Question. Um, from what you guys seen so far, do you think she's going to testify? Do you think she's going to testify in the stand? I feel like her lawyers are like, don't testify, don't testify. 
I think she's going to be the part, type of person who's going to be like, I'm testifying. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to tell my truth. They're going to believe me. We've been playing. But I didn't go seek. I tag. You know, right? claiming that Sunday it was a joking matter. You were laughing, yes. he was laughing. But what I'm just asking is in the past, like, is it something Absolutely that you guys not. normally do? Absolutely mm. not. Okay. Um, okay, so do you remember making any videos or maybe having any cover? Any. Oh. <laughs> look at her body language. She does not look alarmed. Do you remember making any videos? Ooh, okay. Body language looks like she's relaxed. Doesn't know what's coming for her. Anything, any photos, videos that you remember doing on your phone on Sunday? <coughs> no. No. I think I took a picture of a dog. Okay. Um, so I have something that I want to show you that we found. Um, and it was <gasps> on your phone. With regard to the colossal realm of interrogation footage, the level of notoriety these next moments acquired is virtually unprecedented. I feel like this picture belongs on a wall somewhere. Mm -hmm. Dude. If you need to move it around, go ahead. Oh my God, look at the furrowing of the eyebrows. Oh, she's like, oh, fuck me. <laughs> No, I don't remember that. Disgusting. No, no ounce of sympathy whatsoever. No, like, oh my god. Like none of that. She's like, oh my, dude, she's fucking crazy. For everything you've done to me. For everything you've done to me. Your battery's about to die. Sure oh, okay. Disgusting. Is it long? Because I don't know how much I can take. Mm -mm. No. Is it long? Because I don't know how much I can take. Meanwhile, this man was in a suitcase suffering for God knows how many hours. She's so gross. I, I don't know how much I can take. She's like the type of person, like, I bet you her kids would get sick or learn, like, complain about, like, oh, mommy, like, you know, I'm so sick. I don't feel well. And then she's like, I can't take this anymore. I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully she was a better mother. Do I have to watch this? Girl. I continuously throw up. I don't sleep. I don't want to see it, if that's okay. It's that long? Two minutes. For everything you've done to me. For everything you've done to me. Oh. Fuck you. The interrogators should not be cutting each other off. Yeah, let, uh, let, him, let him speak, come on. But their missteps can be forgiven on this occasion due to the power of the evidence, which the lead detective will now focus on. Guys, this is killing me right now. So this image is upside down, and then this small video that occurred 11 minutes later, it's flipped over the other way. Wow. Closer to your dining room table. Okay. Now he's obviously still in there. So he didn't, how did that, how did it go from the back to the front? I flipped it. Okay. What? She didn't even try it. I flipped it. What do you think, idiot? Oh my God. That's like her energy right now. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. <laughs> well, that's what you did. Yeah. But not intentional. No, you told me you went upstairs because what? You were getting ready for bed. Yeah, she's she's profoundly very dumb. She just referred to an earlier statement that she didn't lock up the suitcase all the way so George could get out. Stop here. Okay, but here? show me where you can see any fingers coming out. Going like this, it's like this. That makes no sense. They're, they're, <laughs> I can't believe how dumb she is. If a man is saying that he can't get out, he can't breathe, and he's like calling, calling your name over and over again, he would just unzip himself, obviously. You, there's no way you can lie yourself out of this. No one's going to believe your version of the story. I can't wait till she goes in front of the jury. I hope she does testify and make fun of her. 
but why is he saying I can't breathe and why is he pushing on it as if he can't get out? Oh. Ooh, what do you think she's going to say? You think she's going to be like, well, I don't know. He's just dumb. Like, I, I just expect her saying something like that because of how crazy she is. And it doesn't show a hole. You, there's, there's no, no hole. There's no fingers. I don't see his fingers. There's no hole. Uh oh. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't know the like, truth. what you want me to tell you. The truth. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you what we see. You're laughing in the beginning, and then in the end, it sounds kind of like a no. It's not malicious. It's oh, not malicious. It's not malicious. I feel bad for any customer service rep who had to deal with this person. Oh my God. This is the, your worst nightmare as a customer service rep. The worst nightmare. There's no way, no evidence you can confront her with that she's going to be like, you know what? Actually, it is my fault. She'll never, <laughs> I don't think she'll ever admit that. Nothing's ever her fault. This is crazy. Then what is that? My intention was not to leave him in there. Please understand that. My intention was not to leave him in there. Was, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the investigator on the right side. So what are you doing? Why are you texting over there? <laughs> what are you doing right now? I don't mean to sound negative, and I don't know if I can say this, but <clears throat> like it's like you guys are kind of trying to like feed me. The interesting thing about Sarah is that her intuition is correct. My plan was not to go upstairs and go to sleep. My plan was not to... He'll be up here any minute. But, but you again. willingly went upstairs and went to sleep. No one forced you to go upstairs and get My plan to wasn't also to leave him in the suitcase. So why didn't you take him out? Because True. I went upstairs. And then- no, uh, no. Why did you take him out? Because I went upstairs. Why did you take him out before you went upstairs? Because I went upstairs. Oh, then this is a difficult person to argue with. There's no arguing with this person. And I fell asleep. But why didn't you consciously think he's asking to come out? He I didn't breathe. do it intentionally. What do you think is going to happen if you leave somebody in a confined space like that? <clears throat> Well, I thought by not giving it up all the way, it would be okay. My plan was not to leave him in the and what was your plan? This is a force you never want to reckon with ever. This is the type of person you disengage and you GTFO. I mean, these, you know, they can't do that. But you ever meet someone like this in your life, disengage and GTFO as fast as you can. Please, 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 please. There's no winning an argument with this person. There's nothing, there's no evidence you can ever present to them where they'd be like, oh, you know what? Maybe you are right. I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong here. I thought it was like, I thought he was okay. Like, I didn't, that, you he's all. He's telling you he's not. He's telling you, Sarah, I, I can't I, breathe. He's saying your name and you're like, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Guys. Who even says that? Is that for kids nowadays? Yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. That's such a, such a kid retort. Come on, Sarah. Can you not do better than that? I mean, put it- oh, man. Is there a way to get out of this? Can you like try to stick your fingers where the zipper is and like slowly push it? Oh man. And oh, actually, who would even know where? Because the zipper could be on the other side. Oh my God. I'm just getting claustrophobic to listen to this. Uh. Put him in. So why didn't you take him out? That, because I was upstairs and I fell asleep. No, before you went upstairs. You like consciously had to walk upstairs. Do you, I mean, you obviously remember going to bed because you were able to give me a time frame on that. Mm. You specifically mm-hmm. told me that, that you went upstairs. My intention <coughs> is not for this to happen. I am sick about it. I've never done anything like this before in the past. I am sick. The lead interrogator starts playing the video as Sarah is mid-sentence reiterating her innocence. Good. I don't... No, I, I, I mean, I don't know what you all want me to tell you because this was not in any way, shape or form. She's trying so hard to ignore it while the investigator's playing it. She's trying to talk over it. You move, you admit to moving the suitcase like over. So you roll it, you roll it up. Like, it's not like I didn't want it to be like that. What? So you roll it. You roll it up like it's not like I didn't want it to be me like that. Is that is that her using her baby voice? Like, come on, I'm gonna throw up. I was a magician assistant, so I know tight places can be very limiting for movements at all. God. Mm. You didn't want him to be upside down. How do you even get upside down? Right. 
you guys are killing me right now. I don't know how, I don't know how you want me to say it. Dude, and you know she had to talk about this with her son, right? I want to know what she told her son. Honey, I actually left someone in a suitcase. We're playing honey go seek when we're playing around. We're putting puzzles together and we're painting. And um, I went to sleep and I forgot that he was in there. But it's not my fault. It's his fault because he wanted to go in there. And he was laughing the entire time. So it's not my fault, honey. Like, what did she tell her kid about this? For um, not calling 911 sooner. Because I didn't know what to do and how horrific it was. I called Ryan and like what, five minutes later I called you guys? Not even five minutes. So defensive. So, so defensive. And it was continually doing CPR <laughs> with the dispatch on the- But you were resistant about doing CPR. You're like, dude, I know that he's dead. I don't want to touch this guy. He's purple. Oh. So when he asked to be let out, like what's your reasoning for not letting him out? When I was upstairs? No, when he's asking on the video, he asked multiple times. He asked to be let out. I can't breathe. What? Like, why didn't you let him out? At that moment. Well, number one, I, uh, number one, I had no idea it was going to end like that. Okay. Number one. Doesn't answer the question. Uh, number two, just, you know what? I'll give you five minutes or so in there. That's, I'll give you five minutes or so. Five minutes for what? This was an absolutely imperative moment to allow the suspect to elaborate, but the lead interrogator cuts her off. No! So, based off the video, I will never drink alcohol again. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be in prison. They don't serve alcohol in prison, ma'am. I don't care what it is in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. I am... But let's get back. I hate how she's trying to blame alcohol right now. I hate people who try to blame alcohol in general. If you have issues with alcohol, don't fucking drink then. Back to this. When he's begging for his life... But her is not an alcohol issue. Sarah Boone is the Sarah Boone issue. Her issue is her. Telling you he can't breathe, let me out, and you say, fuck you, why don't you just let him out? What are you trying I to don't. prove to him? There was obviously I, something in your head that you were thinking of when he was asking to let be let out, and you are like, no, Again, it's no. the boy calling wolf, and it's not fair. What? It's the boy calling wolf. So that's a reference to the kid storybook about a boy who would make up lies and keep calling wolf. But then when the wolf actually comes, no one believes him. At that point, he's fucked. The guy was in a suitcase. How is that a boy calling wolf? She's saying that like, oh, he was just being, he didn't need air. He wasn't suffocating. He was fine. He was lying. He's completely fine. Okay, you try. Let's put you in a suitcase there and see how you like it. It is not fair. You guys are trying to, again, oh, he's in there. Night, night. He's begging for his life, telling you he can't breathe. I don't know what you want me to tell you. Like, I don't. He's begging to be let out. He's not laughing. <laughs> He's not having fun. So are you guys, so what is it you're trying to, like, we're just trying to figure out why. why? Uh, they're, yeah, you're going to jail. Wait, do they arrest her on the spot? Please, please let her, please. Do they arrest her on the spot? I hope they do. It does say Sarah literally think she's going home later. They arrest her on the spot, right? Please, 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 please. Just spoil it for me. I need to know now. <laughs> I need to know now. He and I having a great day, fooling around and being stupid. You know, that's a good analogy for the day, excluding the fact that he's got uh, a... That's the only thing that she said that's true so, true so far. Fooling around and being stupid. That's the only truth that's came out of her mouth. Where else did it come from? If you were, say it's opposite, you were in the suitcase and you're asking to be let out. Should they not let you out? Eventually, I'm guessing. Eventually, I mean, I she can't even concede to that. Yes, just say yes, but she doesn't want to say yes. She's like, yeah, I've, eventually. I mean, I mean, it's not my fault that I didn't let him out right away, but I did let him out eventually, or I was planning to, right? Oh God, I'm blaming it on the wine. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm blaming it on the wine that we shared. She said she, the puzzles didn't they start playing at like four o'clock? You ha shared one bottle of wine? After talking to you, everything was ha laughing and fun. You know what, Sarah Boone? She might, she might even sue the wine company. She's going to sue the wine company. She's going to be like, man, y'all got me drunk on this damn wine. Why is there alcohol in here? She's going to sue the suitcase company. She's going to be like, man, why are, you guys, why are your zippers like this? Why did you make it so the zipper can unzip from the inside, huh? <laughs> now we're watching a video where it's not laughing and fun. He's begging for his life. And you are in a very angry voice telling him to fuck off. Yep. No. It's not fair that you guys keep trying to say that that's what I did. But that's what you did, and it was captured on camera. <laughs> Thank God they have camera. Thank God they have camera. Because then the jury will see that, damn, when the woman is confronted with such strong evidence like this, 
she will still deny, 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 and never concede to anything. So if he could push it open, why wouldn't he have gotten out himself? Why would he beg you to mm -hmm. open it? Okay. Yep. I'll tell you if he can't breathe. Yep. Okay. Doesn't mean it didn't happen just because you don't remember it. Dude, they're so over her. Like they're just like, God, man, I can't. <laughs> but you know what? At least it ends here. It ends here. They don't have to go out and find more, uh, like find like you know, another potential murderer or anything like that. Like it just, it ends here pretty much. I mean, they probably have to do some investigating just to make sure, but it pretty much just ends right here. Sarah now gets freaked out by the male detective. She thinks he's texting someone about her, which creates an absurd yet hilarious moment. <laughs> so is the texting thing something about me? Like <laughs> yeah, because he's been texting this entire time. I do want to know, who is he texting? Like what's, what's the one? Texting? Oh no, I'm texting. No, I, I, I have one last question. I just, I mean, you, you realize you're the person that killed him, right? I thought about that. Okay, you left him. True, Justin. I don't like the term either, but, you know, in this scenario, mm, 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 all the way. In the bag when he's begging you saying, I can't breathe, let me out, and you said, fuck you. Not I. Actually, you know what? She, she coined her own damn term. She being a Sarah right now. She being a Sarah Boone. <laughs> Sarah of a Boone. Intentionally. You got up and you went up to bed. You all? Please sit down. Listen to me. I did not, not intentionally kill him. I got you on video screaming, fuck you. This is what it feels like when you're choking me. There's still feelings towards it. You wouldn't say it if you didn't feel it. And then you flip the bag around several times. I didn't do that intentionally. Let's say, let's say in, let's say in trial, the, her defense team does bring in, um, the, you know, DV stuff with George and maybe they show that like, you know, he, she was beaten severely and stuff like that. I think even with that in, it's going to be very hard for the jury to sympathize for her. Um, not only is this really heinous, but the fact that it's her demeanor, it's going to be really hard to sympathize for her, the demeanor, the lying. Um, I wonder if the trial, if they're going to have a chance to play parts of this interview, this interrogation to the jury. Uh, I think they usually don't, but then something usually will happen that might be able to prompt them to show the interrogation video. But it's going to be hard for them to sympathize for her. Like her demeanor alone, it's like, it's so gross. The blame him. Nothing's my fault. She's just been trash talking this entire time. Annoying. You didn't intentionally flip the bag around? Childish no. Why would act. I do that? Well, you Good told question. me you did. When he was upside down. Like, dude, she's going to do so bad in cross-examination. Oh, my God. Please cross-examine Sarah Boone. I hope she testifies and gets a cross-examination. Please. <laughs> it's going to be entertaining. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for his family, dude. I feel so bad for his family, for his kids. I think he's got, like, two or three kids or something. Oh my god, she's just bad shit crazy. Right. Well, you had to put him upside get, down. You can't get in a suitcase upside down yeah. because... It had to been on its back with the lid open for him to get in there for you to zip it up. Then it shows it on the other side with him in it, so you mm. had to flip it to there. Mm. Then there's another video where it's on his back again, so you had to... Flip it. True! So he's saying that at least from the video footage, he's been flipped at least twice at this point. I'm trying to dance oh around the fact is, you left him in there. This is not... I, this, you didn't leave him in not, there? It's not cool. Like, this is not cool. It's not cool. You intentionally left him in there and left the room. You went upstairs to a different room. I would do anything for him. Really? It's heartbreaking. It seems like his family tried to warn him about her, too. Oh. Yeah, any any time when you have a couple and there's any sort of, like, violence involved, you need to break right away. Um... Yeah, you need a break. That's a tough one to like overcome together. She said, she said, hold on a second. Let me drink my Dr. Pepper over here. The discourse repeats itself <laughs> a few more times. And then Sarah brings out her list of questions. So am I getting my phone back? No. <laughs> ma'am, you ain't getting your phone back. As a matter of fact, I don't think you're going to even go home. You're going to go to prison, ma'am. I, I want to know. Did they arrest her? Um, what about Lucas's laptop? No. Not today. How do I go about getting his? Oh, she's going through her checklist of questions right now that the detective saw when she first came in. Me, 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 me. What happens to me? Ma'am, you should have. The first thing that should have came out of your mouth was, 
Can I get a public defender? Um, wedding ring, engagement ring. It's at the medical examiner's office. It'll come to us eventually, and uh, then it'll, it'll be released to the oh, to, to the, the next of kin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next of kin. She's like, "What do you mean, next of kin? Me? I bought it for him." Oh my god. She over here worried about his jewelry. Oh my god. I, I don't even know. I, I'm just so baffled. I don't have enough words. To even <laughs> but, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Okay, that is a civil issue. It was on his finger. It goes to them. They're the ones that are going to release it. We don't have any say in that. So I won't get that back. I just want to remind you guys. This, this person right here is not a representation of real people. Not a representation of humankind, okay? Don't let people like this deter you from meeting new people, making friends and stuff like that, getting into a relationship. Yes, there are bad shit people out there that are really crazy, but for the most part, I like to believe that most people are good. Just don't let, don't let her ruin it for you, okay? <laughs> she, she, has, she has a special one, okay, with little air quotes right there. She has a special one. And it's so... For me to have to live with getting him out and doing what I did is punishment enough. What? No, it's not. She's like, man, the fact that I have to live with this, that's punishment enough. I, sh I sh shouldn't have to go to jail. This is already punishment enough. This is going to weigh down on my soul. So y'all shouldn't lock me up. This is already punishment. <laughs> she tried to be the jury, the judge. His daughters too. Yep. His kids. Are you trying to make it worse? You guys ever watch like, oh my God, there, 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 there has to be like movies out there where it's like, Oh, gosh, she's so gross. I don't know what to say. She's just so disgusting. She can't even sympathize for his daughters. She can't even do that. She doesn't want to. She's over here having a pity party for herself. How dare the detective bring up how the daughters will feel about this? Gosh, she's so gross. Huh? <laughs> daughters, too. Are you trying to make it worse? Sorry, what? Are you trying to make it worse? CSI, that was there yesterday. Forensics take her DNA and fingerprints. Oh, please. Oh, thank you. The investigators then return. Okay, Sarah. So, you're not... Yeah, Sarah. We are, we're, we're arresting you. Thank you so much for being a self-snitch. We're so glad you don't watch Bruce Rivers on fucking YouTube. Thank you so much for self-snitching yourself. And you talk so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the entertainment. <laughs> okay, Sarah. So, you're not free to go. Okay. This comment seriously puts Sarah on edge, but she still won't quite be fully aware of what's happening. This is coupled with the fact the investigators now try to get a solemn declaration out of her to close out the interrogation. The okay. psychological dynamics of the moment are extraordinary. Oh, do you promise everything you told us was the truth? Or no? <clears throat> to the best of my knowledge? To the best of your knowledge. Everything that you've told us today is true and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Yes, but it was not intentional. Okay. Oh, man, she's getting real defensive. Like, she's, like, getting real suspicious now. She's, like, look at the body language right here. She's doing this to herself. She's sloping a bit. She's got her eyebrows like this. Like, she's like, oh, fuck. I fucked up. I fucked up. I done fucked up. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Stand up. I need you to turn around and face the wall. Put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything in your pockets that I should know about? Oh, thank God. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Thank God. Lock her up, please. I know she's like, can I get my Dr. Pepper, please? Can I get my cigarette? Oh, I'm surprised she didn't ask for Dr. Pepper and cigarette while sitting here the entire time. That's possible, not probable. She's the abuser, not the victim. Uh, what's really sad is that she got this far in her life without anyone recognizing her or addressing her mental health state. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have tried, but there is no getting into her. When you're this... I don't know what to call it. When you're Sarah Boone... Nothing's going to penetrate your wall that you built 
No one can say anything that will change your mind. I, I'm sure she's probably had friends or family that has tried to get through her. Um, yeah, it's just really sad that she's 42 years old and she's like this. Um, if you're like in your 20s and you're like this, I'm like, you know what? It's so early for you. You got time to change. You got a lot of growing up to do. When you're 42, ah, oh man, the sympathy just kind of goes out the fucking window. I don't know. It's tough, man. Unless you're going to give me a really big sob story about your background, your life and stuff like that. But no. why is this happening? Because George is dead. Yeah. George is dead. Not intentionally. So this was a trick. You were right. You're right. Why is this trying? happening? Because. Mm, yeah. Dahlia DiPolito was also a disgusting piece. Um, An officer comes to take Sarah to the jail, but Sarah has questions first. Um, those oh, holding God. Cells, the holding cells? Oh, God. She's going to be so needy. What is she going to say? What kind of mattress is it? I got a bad back. Do I get a, a starter pillow? Those holding cells, is it cold? Do I need a sweater? <laughs> Am I going to be part of those? Because I don't know. Last time I had a panic attack. Okay. Let them know that. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, Let's go, Shanda. So what am I going to do with my purse? Excuse me, I can't go to prison because I can't be inside of the prison cells. I'm going to get a panic attack. Something about the bars, you know, being vertical like that and the spacing, it just makes me really anxious. What made you all decide to do this? <laughs> what made you all decide to do this? Ma'am, the question is, what made you decide to do what you did? Made us decide to do this? Delusional. You guys, I knew this was going to happen. You did? Sarah was taken to the Orange County Jail at 5.44 p.m. She was charged with second-degree murder and held without bond, which, keep in mind, was in late February of... Oh, my God. Look at her face. Oh, can we see that again? Can we see that again with those subtitles blocking it? She was charged with second-degree murder. <laughs> Look at her coming out. And held without bond. <laughs> which, keep in mind, was... In oh, man. Of 20 I don't know what is it about her. 20 just the facial expression the hair maybe the i don't know went into lockdown oh wait this is lockdown time oh oh that's why it took her forever to get a court date oh dude that sucks for her oh man which keep in mind was in late february of 2020 just before the entire planet went into lockdown due to mm. a pandemic so sarah must have had a real fun time getting acclimated to the new environment she's been in the county jail since with a trial date set for april 10th of this year she's currently working with her seventh attorney six seventh attorney oh man do you think she was insufferable they didn't want to deal with her with a trial date set for April 10th of this year. She's currently working with her seventh attorney. Six have already filed motions to get the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. And all of them cited the same reason, which was irreconcilable differences. <laughs> I didn't know that she had that many attorneys. I knew that there was an attorney before that decided to, you know, call it quits. Um... And she got a new attorney and she's having issues because she said the attorney won't return her calls or something like that. And she wrote a letter to the judge. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Hell no. I'll be like irreconcilable different. You know, what? I'm retiring. I'm like 35. and went to law school 10 years ago. I'm retiring, judge. Bye. Get me out of here. I'm be a law and crime person. Get me out of here. She wrote letters complaining to the judge. Um, man, he was so professional narrating and then dropped the F. I know, right? <laughs> Gotta love it.